First up, we've got Real Racing 3, and this is a full-out racing game with tons of features, tracks, and cars. Now, aside from just racing, as you can see here, you've got a ton of different cars that you can choose from, purchase, and use within different tracks and different events. Now, with the different events, you can go through speed races as well as full-out stock races and even spec out souped-up car races. Now, when you do purchase a car, you have the ability to soup it up and spec it out buying parts to make it go faster, better brakes, tires, all that fun stuff to make the game just that much more fun. It really is a lot like Gran Turismo and it's available for both iOS and Android so definitely check it out. Next up we have Real Steel and this is a really awesome game and I didn't expect it to be this good. Now, it's a basically a straight up fighting game and you're basically a robot fighting through a bunch of different matches with different robots. Now what makes this game so awesome is the controls. They're very simple. You've got your punch controls on the right and your movements on the left but you're able to perform combos and these combos are by you by pressing different punch buttons as well as the movement keys and it just makes this game a lot like Tekken and Street Fighter really interesting and fun game although it is pretty simple but uh, it does get addicting definitely check it out it's also available for Android and iOS now slowing things down just a little bit we've got 3d mini golf challenge and it's basically like playing mini golf at a real mini golf course what you want to do is try to beat your par or defeat the player you're facing and it's just as simple as playing mini putt on the actual course you want to try to avoid any of the hazards like little holes you want to get around hills or obstacles and basically beat the par and beat the player you're facing this is 3d mini putt challenge it's 199 in the android play store or google play store and it is free for ios so definitely check it out if you're interested Next up we have Head Soccer and this is a pretty fun interesting game that really reminds me a lot of air hockey except now you're playing soccer rather than hitting a little puck into a net. So basically you move a little guy who's mostly a head and you can choose to kick the ball or jump and head the ball and what you're trying to do is get the ball into the opponent's net and at different times during the game you will get power ups which will allow you to kick the ball really hard and give you a better chance at scoring into the opponent's net. It's a pretty fun game. It's not the best game in terms of graphics or anything, but it is pretty addicting, so definitely check it out. This is also available on Android and iOS. Next up is another racing game. This is called Groove Racer, and it's a pretty awesome game. It's like that racetrack set that you might have had as a kid or might have right now. They have them in the stores where it's actually attached to a little track that's metal, and the car basically races around, and all you do is control a little gun to allow it to race around well this is basically that game except you're using your finger to tap down and when you release it it does release the power on the car and what you want to do is try to get around this track as best as possible without spinning out so you can beat the time and get to the next track it's a pretty awesome game you've got a bunch of different cars a lot of different tracks and honestly I was surprised when I got this game that it was this fun and it does take a little bit to get used to but once you get used to it it's awesome now this game unfortunately is not available for Android but if you do have an iOS device you can definitely pick it up for free in the App Store next up we have Minion Rush just in time for the Despicable Me 2 release and this is a Temple Run style game where you're basically trying to avoid the different obstacles in your way you're constantly going to be running forward so you need to swipe left right up and down and your reaction time is going to be really important in this style of game because you really need to get around these things and avoid them they're going to be coming at you closer and closer as well as more and more frequently so you definitely need to be ready for that what's cool about these style of games though really is the graphics they're always so good and there's always little hidden features and things in the background like you can see in this game particularly you can see the different despicable me characters in the background little tvs and various things like that it's really addicting this game as well as like all the temple run style games are addicting but this one because the movie has just come out and is just right around the corner here this makes it a little bit more interesting if you're interested in despicable me too so definitely check it out it is available for both ios and android devices Next up we have the Fast and the Furious 6 game and this is another racing game but it's a little bit different because this one is strictly types of racing. So you've got drift tracks, you've got drag racing and various things like that. In this particular race we're drag racing so we're concentrating on our launch and our shifting. You want to try to get the optimal shift and launch for the race. Now in the drift races you've got other things you need to concentrate on but what's cool about this is they incorporate the characters from the movie into the game. Some will help you, some you're facing off against. 
but definitely keep in mind what track you're using when you soup up your car because you'll be able to tune it so it's best for what you're doing. Anyway, check this out. It's for Android and iOS. Next up, we have kind of a funny game here. It's called Beat the Boss 2. Now, there was a first version, but this one here is pretty fun. And basically, it allows you to beat the crap out of this boss who's kind of shooting you orders and being kind of a jerk. And you can unlock so many different things like axes, guns, uh, punching gloves and you can throw the boss around the room they'll get electrocuted and what you're trying to do is get as much money as you can by beating him up and it'll all fall out of him and you can collect that and it'll add to your money which will allow you to unlock more things to beat up the boss with and as you can see right now I've thrown him into the ceiling into the speaker and he's getting electrocuted this is more of like just you know get some aggression out and take your aggression out on this little boss here rather than on other people but it is fun and it's available for Android and iOS Next up we have Pinball Rocks, and this is your standard pinball style game. It's like a pinball machine you find at an arcade or an old pizza parlor, and that's what I was looking for when I was searching out these different pinball games. Unfortunately, this one right here is Hardcore Rock, and that's not really my style. I really wanted something more related to a movie or a video game. I feel that that would be pretty interesting and a cool app to actually play. But if any of you have found a game like that that is related to this, like pinball machine games that are like movie related or video game related, let me know in the comments down below. This one right here is a lot of fun though. Don't get me wrong, it's just not my style. And unfortunately, this game is only available for iOS. Next up, we have App of the Day. And this is a really cool app because it allows you to get paid apps for free. And every day, a new app that's paid will become free. And there's a lot of different applications in the App Store in both Android and iOS that do this. But the one I use is App of the Day, and it takes away the price for the app. I'm not sure how they do it, but that's how it works. So definitely check it out if you want to get some paid apps free. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out and helps support my channel. Also subscribe if you like these kind of videos as well as iPhone videos, Android videos, PlayStation videos, everything about tech. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you have any apps that you'd like me to review or you think I'd be interested in, definitely leave those in the description down below as well. I'm always looking for new apps to try out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.